Good evening. My name is Stuart Schlossman. I'm we're here with Michelle Mansueto, who's an acupuncturist. And this is something that we would like to start sharing is doing some complimentary therapy. And so we wanted to ask you here today to help us and help the world understand more about acupuncture. So firstly, how does acupuncture even work? Right. So there's a few theories on this. Eastern wise, um, it's probably the most simplistic. So with what we learned in school with the Eastern thought is that it's energy flow through the meridians and that if there are blockages in the meridians, the acupuncture points are helping remove those blockages and encouraging the body to heal. Um, if you go with more Western thought processes, um, it can be anything from gate theory where you're distracting one nerve set from another nerve set to reduce pain. Um, you can be shifting the body back to a relax and digest state, like a parasympathetic response, and that encourages healing. Um, they're still studying how it works. There's, there's a ton of um, different studies out there, and the problem is that you can't do a double-blind study with acupuncture. Um, once you start putting needles into the body, your control group would then have to be sham acupuncture, but in reality, all of those places on the body can still be points. Um, so they're still studying it, um, but we have a ton of evidence from users that come back very happy with relieved Great. symptoms. How does, M how does the um, acupuncture benefit an MS patient? Um, so one of the number one complaints um, and symptoms is fatigue. It helps with fatigue, it helps with depression, it helps with pain management um, and spasticity um, to some degree. Um, it's certainly not curative, but it does help relax the person. It helps with stress coping. Um, and not everyone will have the same response. Uh, each body is gonna be different, so the amount of um, time or treatment somebody will need is going to it's going to vary depending on how long the condition has been going on and what state of health the person is in. So generally speaking, how long does it take or how many sessions would it take even for a patient just to feel um, acclimated to being poked and <laughs> as well as to maybe even feel something something from the acupuncture? All right, so the first treatment is usually the flavor of acupuncture. You're, you're getting used to what needles feel like. Um, you're getting used to sitting still. For a lot of people, that's very difficult to do. Um, so I would say if, if you're gonna give it a fair shake, give it between six and 10 treatments. That way you can start to see what it feels like and it gives your acupuncturist time to treatment plan. Um, sometimes it, it you can use more needles on one subset than you can on another subset. So it takes some time to figure out who, who is in front of you and what their body likes. Have you ever found that when you put a needle in a person that they're not, that they're too sensitive to those needles? Um, generally, no. <laughs> every, every, you kind of have to work them in. I've, I've treated children. So um, if my nine-year-old little boy can, can hack it, certainly grown people can too. I think that some people are, yeah, probably rightly so, just averse. Um, and some of the points are tender, but for the most part, you can get the needles in without a whole lot of, a lot of people don't even know that you put a needle in. Right. That's the biggest response I get is, you put a needle in, that's, and that's, that's when I know. That. Great. So a lot of people are concerned about this running them a lot of money or how often that they have to have acupuncture. So tell us how affordable this kind of care could be. Um, so it depends on the practitioner that you pick. Um, for some practitioners, insurance will cover it. So if you have a good insurance policy, that's a route that you can take. Um, for my style, I happen to have a community style clinic and I offer a sliding scale there. And it makes it to where the treatments are offered between 20 and $40 so that people can come as often as they need to. Um, it's honor jar acupuncture, so they pick a number. It's a movement from out west. And, oh, uh, they get to choose what they're going to pay you? They, yes, they wow. do. It is, um, the, I know you tease me, the idealist in me um, has not died. So <laughs> this was, it was a project that has kind of come from out west and 
acupuncturists wanted to offer like, valid health care without it being elitist. So, so in other words, community clinics are available in various portions of the United States? Yes. Okay, great. And how does somebody find out about these? You can Google community acupuncture. Very good. And we want to thank you for coming here today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.